Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 6 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to another Musky Quick Tips segment here on the Musky Mastery YouTube channel. Well guys, today I am going to reveal one of my all time top secret, top water musky fishing tips. And before I go any further, I can't take all the credit for this. My good buddy and fishing partner, Joe Booker, showed me this many years ago on a Canadian musky trip, uh, filming in some super, super sloppy cover, and that's just it. What do you do when you've got muskies holding in stuff that you can't get anything into. I'm talking, you can't get your slot masters in there. You can't get any type of spinner bait. In fact, you got muskies holding in cover that's so thick and nasty, you can't even get a top raider or some kind of top water lure in there to access those muskies. All of our musky lures are tools, but sometimes even our best tool for slop fishing can't get the job done. Well, what do you do in that case? You need to modify the way your tool is kind of running or the way your tool is, is designed in a way. So here's how you do it. It's pretty cool. So let me just uh, take this top reader off here and I'll show you. So most conventional top water lures, they've got two treble hooks on them. One in the belly here and one on the rear. Usually, that rear treble hook is shrink wrapped. And so, by doing that, of course, it makes it great because as that prop spins or whatever you've got going on here, this treble hook stays flat, parallel to the water surface. Usually, it keeps it out of, uh, out of you know, the harm of uh, you know, getting snagged in weeds and all that stuff. It, it keeps it out of harm's way. This metal uh, treble hook, the belly hook though, which is great for keeping fish hooked. A lot of times this, this treble hook is the one that's getting snagged in the weeds. So how do you make your top water lures super weed resistant? And I'm talking, you know, we're essentially hot rodding a, a super weedless lure to begin with. Well, you're, you, if, you're, if you're a step ahead of me, here's what you're doing. All you gotta do is take a, a nice split ring pliers, okay? And very simply here, all you're gonna do is remove, look at how easy that is. You're just gonna remove the belly hook. Set that down there. And now take a look at this thing. You've now got a lure that essentially has no hooks in the water. I mean, you could, you could even modify this to uh, you know, you could bend even one of these little hooks up if you wanted to take a top water lure like this, this bullfrog top raider and make it a specialty slop lure. You could do that, but I don't really do that. I just keep it as is. It's very easy to put the belly uh, hook back on there. And now you've got a lure that has no hooks exposed in the water for the most part. I mean, you'll still snag stuff on, on any lure. You could snag stuff on the, on the leader, for example. But when I'm trying to target muskies, that are holding up in, and again, cover that you really can't get any other lure into, this is a great way to do it. And you're gonna, and, and so here's here's the other thing now, folks will argue with me, as, as some guide clients have done over the years, like, well, Chaz, you know, you're gonna lose fish, you don't got the belly hook on there, right? Well, yeah, you know, you don't have as good of a hooking percentage without that that middle hook on there, right? But here's the big question. Were you even gonna get a lure in there to begin with? Were you even gonna get a shot at that muskie? Probably not. So now you at least are giving yourself a chance, okay? So let's see this in action. Now, there is a little disclaimer here. Don't go out there and throw this thing in anything, okay? There are certain types of cover that this won't work well in. For example, uh, grasses that lay down on the surface. Anything that goes through those that grass is gonna get snagged. Where, what, what I'm talking about fishing are is um, weed cover that is, 
you know, usually it's cabbage, where you've got those cabbage tassels poking up out of the water and it's very difficult to get anything into. That's where this design shines, okay? Let me show you here. Let's see if we can have a successful test run. It's always, the funny thing is here, we, we talk about making a, a weed resistant lure and then, uh, you know, your, your uh, YouTube host here throws it out there and gets snagged up on the first cast. How funny would that be? Or not funny, but well, let's see here. So, out in front of me here, I've just got some, I got some pretty nasty stuff. Um, stuff that's it's hard to get a spinner bait through. And again, now you can take this top raider with no belly hook and you can fish it successfully right through the nastiest of stuff. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera, but I've got there, I just, I just hit a little bit of uh, uh, cabbage right there. And look at that. There's actually all kinds of uh, coontail in here. Look at that. I even I snagged a little on that retrieve. Clean. That is exactly what you're looking for right there. It, it may get caught occasionally, but the thing is, when you've just got one even barb of that treble hook going through the water, you're going to be able to even get yourself out of, of junk just like I did there on that cast. So there you go, guys. That is the quick tips video for this week. Modifying your top raider or top water, your favorite top water, to be able to fish in some cover that you would never get anything into. And now you've got a shot at muskies that you would never have had a shot at unless you have the right kind of modified lure to get the job done. Try this out on your home water. See if it, if it helps you boat another muskie this season, maybe five, maybe 10 muskies, who knows? If you fish a lake that's loaded with milfoil, uh, Eurasian milfoil and all kinds of nasty invasives, this may be a great way to get yourself on some muskies that previous to this video, you never could really access because the milfoil was too thick. You couldn't fish anything through it. Try this out and see what happens. I think you might like it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this, this uh, quick tips video. And as always, thanks for watching.